Hey, what's up? I'm Basil Barrington, and today I want to talk about the Apple Music streaming services integrated now with Algorithms DJ Pro AI DJ app. I've been really looking forward to Apple Music streaming getting into this whole DJ game. And back in 2020, when I reviewed Serato and Title, you know, I was like, oh, there's, there's something missing here with this integration, right? But I also said in that video that I'm looking forward to Apple Music getting into this game. Why wouldn't you want to partner up with a $3 trillion company named Apple? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> you know, and I do have a prediction that I'm going to make at the end of this video. Now, why is this so important? Because one, Apple did it with a software that has been native to Apple for a really long time. So if Apple was going to do this, they were going to do it with a native app. And that's why I think they chose Algorithm. Tidal and Serato, when that integration first happened in 2020, I also thought that it's going to integrate with other services as well. It just makes sense. You know, you just have to figure out the negotiating, you know, different things, um, how much money you're getting, yada, 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 you know, whatever it is, right? But I, I think this is really cool and I, I really like it because right now um, I'm like, Apple One subscriber, the premium service, so it's everything. I get Apple Music, Fitness Plus, the whole nine, right? But I also have Tidal because I like to use that with my DJ software, be it Rekordbox or Serato or Algorithm, you know, or even Virtual DJ, whatever, right? So I'm fortunate that, you know, Tractor doesn't have the integration with Tidal or Apple Music. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. And I said this before in the past, and I'm going to say it again, right? There are a lot of streaming services out there exclusive to DJ software, like Beatport, Link, and Beat Source. But those are two totally different services. So if you wanted the dance music, you would have to get Beatport, Link. And if you want like the top 40 R&B hip hop stuff, you would have to get Beat Source. And my philosophy is, why would I pay two subscriptions to maybe a catalog of 30 million songs when I can pay, you know, one subscription for $9.99 or $10.99, whatever it is, and have access to all the music, everything. Not like, you know, remixes of a specific top 40 track, and I'm not quite sure if that's the right one or not, you know, or just specifically dance music. Why not have access to everything that's made? on a service like Apple, on a service like Tidal, on a service like Spotify, you know? I want access to everything at my fingertips. If I want classical music, I can just search for it. If I want dance music, I can search for it. It may not show up immediately on some of these true streaming services, but eventually it does. You have to, as an artist, you have to put your music up on these streaming services. You may you know, do an exclusive on Beat Porter Track Source, but eventually it will be on Apple Music, on Tidal, on Spotify. So let's get that out the way. Okay, so the service itself, here it is right here. It's pretty simple, you know? I mean, if you want to search for tracks on, you know, Apple Music, you just go to the search bar and you search Apple Music. You can also do folders within folders. So basically... I took a track list that I had on Tidal, found all the tracks on, you know, Apple Music, and here it is, right? So I created a, a deep house folder, and then went th within that, I have like just the months broken down. So here's Jan, January 24. Here are all my tracks here, and these are just all tracks coming from Apple Music, you know, and it's um it's pretty dope, right? And then the other thing is all the music that I couldn't play previously that I purchased on iTunes or that, you know, I'm, I was streaming from Apple Music, it's all right here as well. Here's a, um, let me see here. Here is a protected folder right here. And this is all the music that previously was protected by, you know, the DRM or whatever it's called, right? But I can now access it here. I can just go in, drop it into here, and it's going to work, you know? So that is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so I'm really loving this drink right here. And again, like I said, you can search, you know, if I wanted to search Dubfire, um, 
This is all the stuff that Dubfire has created. And they break it down, you know, show all songs. Yes, I'm showing all songs. I can go back. I can show albums if I wanted to. Let me just move this out the way. I can show albums. Here are all the albums. It's pretty cool. And um, yeah, and it's, this is, <laughs> listen, I am so happy that we have this. I just want this to, I want Apple to possibly, you know, create partnerships and relationships with the other DJ softwares, all the DJ softwares, you know, it's, there's no, there's nothing exclusive here, right? I mean, there, there may be something exclusive here and I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but it's, it just works. I mean, like, why can't Apple Music be on Tidal? I mean, I'm sorry, on Serato. Why can't Apple Music be on Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, Engine DJ, you know, Tractor, once Tractor figure out that, hey, this is going to work for them, you know? I mean, come on. And you can just, like, um, also just remove some of these icons, too. Like, if I didn't want Tidal, I can just come over here and Tidal is gone, you know? But I use Tidal, so... But as you can see here, I don't have beat port. I don't have beat source <laughs> and nothing else. The other thing you have to realize is if you're using Apple Music streaming with, you know, DJ Pro AI, you're not going to be able to use the neural mix for obvious reasons, you know. I mean, why would you, <laughs> you know, want to do something like that to music you don't possibly own or you haven't purchased, right? So it makes sense that you can't use that with the streaming service, right? So... You know, I'm not quite sure if you can use that, something like that, stem controls with um, title on Rekordbox or Serato. Serato. I'm not sure, right? But anyway, I really like this. Now, I do have some predictions here, right? Because Apple is a company that makes really smart acquisitions, right? I mean, they bought Logic, right? <laughs> And they bought a whole bunch of other stuff and integrated that sort of technology into their, you know, products, right? I would not be surprised. I'm making a prediction here. I would not be surprised if Apple acquired Algorithm. I think Apple wants to get into this DJ game. I think they see it. You know, if you look, if you have Apple, if you have Apple TV, you see that sometimes Apple will like um, post live DJ sets, you know, from clubs in Brooklyn and things like that. They did a, a two a two hour set on New Year's Eve, right? With um, you know two female DJs just getting into house music, right? So I would not be surprised if Apple Music acquired Algorithm. I also would not be surprised if Apple acquired Elgato or Govi or even Ecamm Live, right? Ecamm Live is native to Apple, so with Algorithm. It kind of makes sense for Apple to possibly, maybe, think about an acquisition of algorithm because I think Apple is probably thinking this, okay, if we're going to introduce Apple Music Streaming integration into DJ softwares, why not buy one ourselves and make it exclusive to the software that we own? That's, you know, I, I think that's how Apple thinks sometimes about, like, products. It's just like, hey, you know what? This is a great product. Let's put it in our, you know, portfolio. We'll use some of this technology, yada, yada, yada. And the other thing is this, right? Because algorithm is native to Apple, right? You can now use the DJ Pro AI software with the Vision Pro. So think about that. So you not only have access to Apple Music, you now have access to use the DJ software within Vision Pro, the AR, VR, you know, goggles or whatever they are, right? So that's pretty cool too. And I am going to get me a pair of the Vision Pro, but just not now. I, I have to get my weight up in terms of, you know, purchasing a pair of glasses <laughs> basically for $4,000, and I have to get like my prescription inside of it as well, right? I think this is a great idea. Apple Music Streaming with Algorithm DJ Pro AI software and app because it also works on the app too. You can use it on the iPad. You can use it on the iPhone or anything like that. So anyway, I just wanted to create a quick video about me loving this new partnership with Apple Music Streaming and Algorithm's DJ Pro AI software. This is a great partnership. Do not be surprised if at some point Apple decides to acquire 
the DJ Pro AI app. I don't know, maybe even algorithm, you know, because they are doing something really cool. That company does do really something really cool on the software side, you know, so they have great engineers. And because it's native, they know that they want their software to work with everything that Apple has to offer, like the Vision Pro, all their like SOC chips. They want this to work perfectly well as a native application on Apple devices. So don't be surprised if Apple acquires algorithm. Well, there you have it. That's just a quick video. Again, I'm loving the Apple Music streaming partnership integration with DJ Pro AI software app, everything else. Until next time, peace.